calls demanding freedom for Iranian women echoing around the world. From London and Istanbul to Berlin and all across the United States. Saturday marked one year since the death of Masa Amini, a 22-year-old Iranian woman who died while in police custody after reportedly being beaten by Iran's notorious morality police. Her alleged crime, not wearing a mandatory hijab or headscarf properly. Her death sparked historic acts of defiance on the streets and massive anti-government protests. Iran's security forces last year responding with a violent crackdown killing over 500 people and detaining more than 22,000 in the months following. It's a sad day because nothing happened, but on the other hand, it's, it proves that we, we are still fighting. Inside Iran, reports of security forces doubling up to crack down on protests, remembering Amini. Activists frustrated over the lack of change since Amini's death. This regime does not represent the values and, and morals of the Iranian people. September 16 of last year, I was full of anger, but at the same time, I was hopeful. Looking back, activist Masi Alinejad is filled with mixed emotions. I couldn't believe that a woman just got killed for, for a little bit of her hair was visible. But at the same time, I was so proud of seeing a lot of women cutting their hair, burning their headscarves. Amini's death inspiring an historic movement across the world and shedding light on the plight of a nation. Mahsa became a symbol of resistance, symbol of revolution, symbol of saying no to dictators, no to oppressors. Regime change in Iran! Iranian Americans blasting President Raisi and his visit to the United Nations this week. Human rights organizations point to an alarming surge in executions, sentencing an estimated 700 people to death over the past year, some children. In 1988, he's accused of playing a role in the killing of tens of thousands of political prisoners, including human rights activist Mitra Samani's best friend, who was just 20 when she was arrested for peacefully protesting. She was later executed by Raisi's so-called death committee. This shouldn't have happened. He shouldn't be welcomed here. He should be prosecuted for the crimes against humanity. Samani herself spent four years as a political prisoner in Iran, arrested at just 18 years old for distributing flyers. She says this is nothing new. I witnessed pregnant women being executed, gang raping women, young girls. So uh, this, um, this actually is the worst thing that could happen to somebody. But um, it took me three years of uh, constant therapy uh, to be normal again, if I'm normal. I tattooed my mother's name close to my heart, and she's always with me in my heart. Last September, another life also changed forever. She went out to just protest against the brutally murdering of Masa Amini. Maybe she think about the next generation or her granddaughters. She went for freedom. Masa P. Yahi was at home in the UK when she received the devastating news about her mother back home in Iran. They said, your mother has been shot and she's in hospital. I just um, asked them, is she alive? And they said, no, she's dead. I fell on the floor. People outside of the Iran, around the world, they see just a second of life of a woman in Iran. You can see many women, they go out with no hijabs, no color up these days, but it is a battle for them. One year after Amini's death sparked a global outcry, life as a woman in Iran is still a daily fight, says this 35-year-old we're calling Layla to protect her identity. I wear something underneath my pants to protect my legs from uh, plastic bullets. Every day, one of us is arrested, another one is murdered. Living here is scary, especially uh, when you try to stand against the regime. 
Despite these terrors, Leila says women in Iran, joined by their fathers and brothers, are not giving up. This society is not going to stop. We have found each other recently. It's been a year that we have the feeling that we are not alone. We are here to end you and your regime. Back in New York City, Masa herself has faced death threats and currently lives under FBI protection after repeated kidnapping and assassination attempts against her. The Islamic Republic have guns and bullets. They have everything. They can kill you, they can rape you, they can execute you. But what people have, their words, their social media, their lyrics, these became our weapon. And that scares them. For Masi and all the women who continue to speak out, it's their dreams of a one-day free Iran that keep them going. The Islamic Republic took everything away from us, everything, but not hope. The power of collective voice, getting together, and that scares the regime, because we're not alone. Together, we are stronger. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.